Hey guys, it's Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you my finished quilt from the Walmart fabrics that I made a while back. I know, it's been a it's been a while, okay? I know I was a little slow on finishing this project and some of you were kind of hoping for like results like ASAP and thinking like Kristen is just gonna like whip this quip quilt out <laughs> like it's nothing. But I didn't completely let you down, okay? The quilt is finished. It is gorgeous. I love, love, love the way that this quilt came out. It's, it's beautiful, okay? So this is the fabrics, actually the colored fabrics, these these white fabrics in between here, and I'll show you some more close-up pictures of like the quilt and, it, and all of its done glory in just a few minutes, but this is the Pioneer Woman fabric from Walmart. And I did a video saying, is Walmart fabric actually worth it? Okay, and now I'm going to actually answer that question in today's video. Now, I can't speak for every single piece of fabric at Walmart, but I can speak for this line in particular, and I can tell you that because of that other video, I did get a ton, ton, ton of comments and a ton of feedback from people who say, all I use is Walmart fabrics, so there's nothing wrong with it. And I don't wish to start a debate or argue with anybody on what fabric is worth it and what fabric is not and what you should be quilting with and what you should not be quilting with, okay? Because what it comes down to is, your quilt and your skills, where your budget lies, what the final product of the quilt is going to be, you know, everything plays into it. And I think it really just comes down to there are no quilt police. There is nobody judging you. And you are allowed to do whatever you want, whenever you want. If you want to mix fabrics, if you want to do this and that, you know, a lot of times when I make suggestions on like the quality of fabric and what you should pair your fabric with and what you should be sewing with and the, the details of how long your stitch length and all of that should be, that is kind of going into the longevity of your quilt, okay? So if you're sewing something that is just a play quilt, something that you're going to take on picnics everywhere, which I plan on doing with this quilt. Actually, this one might make it into my living room for a while because I love the way that it came out. And I did use a uh, bamboo batting on this. So it's like, it's soft. It is going to crinkle up a little bit more in the wash. And I'm very excited about that because this quilt is finished. I just finished the binding on this quilt right here and it, turned out so lovely. Now, everything on this quilt is the Pioneer Woman fabric, except for these white squares right here, which I have stitched a beautiful star in there. Now that's just like kind of um, done with ruler work on my long arm. Okay, so I quilted this myself. I've got these white patches here and these are kind of, um, they were placed on purpose, not only because like it makes the design really, really pretty, but I wanna see if this fabric is actually going to bleed when I put it in the wash. And that's one of the tests that we're gonna do in today's video is I am going to wash this quilt for the first time with a couple color catchers in it. And let's see if the fabric is really, really um, gonna bleed. And this, these white squares right here, which are all over the quilt, are going to be kind of my testers, okay? Now, I'm not willing to throw this quilt into the wash without the color catchers, okay? Because even though this is a test quilt, I still worked really hard on it, and I still really, really love the way that it came out. So, um, I'm gonna show you some more pictures of the full quilt, and you can see the pattern of it, how beautiful it turned out. It was a really, really simple, pattern, okay? You can get some more details here on how the pattern came together. It looks almost kind of 3D in some instances. And then the quilting that I did on it is I did these beautiful little stars, just kind of, um, like I said, with ruler work on my long arm machine, I did the stars. None of this is perfect, but um, that's okay. In quilting, it doesn't have to be perfect to serve its final purpose, which is it is beautiful, it's covered, it will keep us warm at night, and it will be lovely to 
snuggle up with. So the white squares are actually a charm pack that was just a solid white. I believe it was a Moda charm pack and kind of a, a white on white print to them, which gives it a little bit different look and a little bit more variation. Look at me still picking my threads here while I'm filming this. Let's take this and I'm gonna go take it into the washing room right now and we're gonna put it in the washing machine with the color catchers and um, then we'll see how this project turns out. Okay, it's time to wash the quilt for the first time. Here's what I'm gonna do. I have my box of color catchers here. Um, sometimes I get a little carried away with these things. Sometimes I feel like I need at least <laughs> five of these in a wash with the first quilt, um, or first quilt wash weather. And um, sometimes I feel like maybe one or two will do it. This time I'm going to use two color catchers, just two. I'm not going to use five. I'm going to use two because I really, really want to see whether or not this fabric is going to bleed on the rest of the quilt or whether it's going to be just fine. So, ah, beautiful. I love, love, love this quilt so much. I'm very, very happy with the results and the washing and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, get this little update. If you wanna go back and watch the first video of this when I first got all of the fabric and I was talking about whether or not Walmart fabric was worth it, it is worth a watch. And also read through the comments down below. Feel free to add your own, but there is a lot of good information in there. If you're just starting out quilting and you're wondering, do I have to buy the really expensive, high quality quilting fabrics or can I just purchase like the cheapy stuff until I feel like my skills are up to par to the more expensive quilting fabrics? There's a lot of good information down in those comments. I want you to go check those out. I'm gonna put the link across the top here and then I'm also going to put it in the comments down below. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I have enjoyed this project and this quilt. I'm gonna go probably, I don't know, I'm probably gonna go snuggle up right now with it because it's kind of chilly outside. It's getting close to like Thanksgiving and I'm really, um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really in need of a nap. <laughs> so I'm gonna go test this quilt out. I hope that you have a wonderful holiday. I hope that you enjoy time with your family and enjoy all the good things in life. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. I'm Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. Bye! Just kidding. See you later. Bye! <laughs>